coming up to cross into California here on our way home. We got some kind of station. I'm not sure if it's manned or not, but uh, one of these fruit entrance stations, I guess. Let's see what happens here. Yeah, it looks like there's somebody there. So, uh, it's crazy. We got to quit allowing this kind of stuff. Firewood or plants with you today? Uh, I don't answer questions at suspicionless checkpoints, but uh, can I ask you a question? You know, it's critical. Can you go ahead and open up the bathroom? Um, no, thank you. I don't consent to any searches. Oh, really? It's critical. Well, I don't consent to being filmed. Well, that's okay. You're a public servant, so we can film you. Um, yeah. Go ahead and point at me, baby. Okay. So, this could be a troublesome one. She seems a little belligerent. Here's the thing, the Fourth Amendment, the Constitution, the Bill of Rights, it's important we don't give this stuff up. You know, people say, oh, it's a checkpoint, they're just checking your fruit, they're trying to stop invasive species, this or that, but the question we have to ask is at what point are we willing to give up our rights? If we're willing to give up constitutional rights for one thing, why not give them up for everything? If a government can pull us off to the side of the road and stop us, and question us, and detain us, when we've committed no crime. That's a direct violation of the Constitution. It's important to those who love liberty that we stand up for what's right. That we stand up for liberty and for the values that so many shed their blood to give us. These are rights. They're fundamental. And it's very important that we okay, maintain how that. You doing today? Not too bad. How about you? Where are you guys coming from? Let me ask you a question. Have you ever heard of the Fourth Amendment? Have you? Can you recite that to me? Hi. How you doing? Good. I'm, I'm doing my good. Picture. Don't put it on eBay. I don't want to see it on YouTube. Or well, then maybe you better let us go. Then. I will sue you. No, you won't, because you're a public servant. We have every right to yeah, film I can you, do sir. That anyway. Okay. But let me read you the Bill of Rights. The right, right of the okay. people to be secure in their persons, houses, Appreciate papers, it. and effects Listen, you against unreasonable any, searches any and seizures shall not be violated, and no warrant shall issue but upon probable cause, supported by oath of, or affirmation, particularly describing hey guys, the place to be searched and the persons to be seized. Are you bringing in any? Now here's something that's interesting. Citrus? Uh, the the Supreme Court has recognized our freedom of movement. Do you guys have any firewood? Did you swear an oath to the Constitution? Yes. Do you have any firewood? So, are you listening to the... Do you have can, any you, firewood? can you quote the Fourth Amendment Do to me? Do you have any firewood? I don't answer questions at suspicionless checkpoints, sir. Do you have any firewood on? Do you have any plants? So How let's continue citrus? here. What we need to remember, guys, is that citrus? somebody that tells us Hi, that guys, we have to give up our rights... Hi, guys. How you out there in TV world? Hey, What's, this is Billy, and I'm an inspector. I'm trying to help the environment here. What These a, guys whoa, 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 whoa. don't really understand that <laughs> because they don't really understand what we're doing. Oh, I love this. This is so good. Well, listen, I got a job to do, and I'm here to protect the environment in the fall. We're not trying to hurt and the environment. We're, we're just trying to, to travel within our constitutional no, rights okay. on the road. You can travel I'm, my name is Gavin Syme. I'm, I'm an American pictorialist, and we're, we're just heading back home toward Washington. Do you have anything like that or citrus coming from Florida? Now, guys, he has a hung long bing disease. No, it's important. See, he doesn't want to do that, so he's shutting hey, the window. Hey, uh, am I being? And I really think and, that's Am I really being detained? But no, am I being detained? No, I'm okay, not detained. Okay, goodbye. I'm asking you if you we'll have see any you fresh fruit. Since I'm not being detained, we're gonna leave. He said we weren't being detained, so we're gonna go. I don't know if we're gonna get pulled over for this, but uh, here's the thing. I'm not bringing invasive fruit into California. Everything we have in there is from the grocery store. That's not really the point here. And I don't really believe that that's what these are about. Now, he told me I wasn't being detained. I'm moving on down the road. I'm not gonna sit there and listen to a diatribe. What my point is here is that a checkpoint of any kind that's suspicionless on our roads of any kind, it's against the Constitution. We don't have to be stopped and questioned. It's against the Constitution for me to be held up at a stop without any probable cause that I've committed a crime. And that's the point here. When do we draw the line? Some people will argue and they'll say, well, you know, how dare you interfere with these checkpoints? They're just trying to protect the environment. What about protecting our constitutional rights? Liberty does come at a price. Liberty has value, and that's why so many people have been willing to die for liberty, for justice, for morality, because they all tie in together. Liberty is freedom from tyranny. Liberty is human rights. It's the ability 
to be able to be safe and secure and protect ourselves against evil, including evil government. This guy back here, he doesn't understand. He swore out to the Constitution, but he doesn't even understand that he's, he's infringing on the Constitution, even by, by doing this. Let me just stop here. It's my brother. Now, the question... I'm rambling a little. This is, this is very, this is very nerve-wracking. And it's hard. It's hard to say no, to refuse to cooperate. But you know what? Liberty is more important. Liberty is more important than saying, yeah, I'll do what I'm told today because I don't want to deal with this. Liberty is more important than saying, well, let's make sure I don't have any bad fruit. Liberty is worth standing up for. And that's what we need to do. Californians shouldn't tolerate checkpoints on their roads. If you have an invasive species problem, deal with it another way. California, Texas, Arizona, we shouldn't tolerate border checkpoints on our highways. You don't stop us on the road and ask us for our papers, ask us where we're coming from, ask us where we're going, or ask us what we're carrying, or ask to search our vehicle. That's not how it works. And that's not how it's gonna roll here. This is America, and it's time to take America back and to stand up for our liberty. Liberty, please, start pushing back against this stuff. Start taking a stand. This is, a, this is our kids' freedom we're talking about. This is liberty. It's their liberty. Are we gonna bow down to tyranny? Some will say, oh, this stuff's been happening for years. What's the big deal? The fruit checkpoints, they've been there for years. The border checkpoints, they've been there for years. It doesn't matter. If, if we're just now waking up to the fact that our constitutional rights are being violated, that doesn't mean we should just ignore it and let it go. We should stand up. We should take our country back and we should demand accountability for our government. That's one of the reasons that, that I'm planning to run for federal Congress in Washington. I'm tired of this. I wanna give these crooks a run for their money. I'm tired of them trying to trample our freedom, trample our liberties, and trample our rights. And I'm not gonna keep playing this game with them. All right, take care, guys.